Uh, my name's Griffin Sauter. Um, I'm a filmmaker. I go to UW Milwaukee. I think it started with cartoons, actually. Um, like, I remember my dad would always show me these, just like weird cartoons, like when I was growing up. It's so, like, I don't know, I feel like it just kind of piqued my interest. Um, just like the, the strange things that would just sort of take your breath away. And then I started making like little animations with like a uh, clay. Um, I think my first was like my sophomore or junior year in high school. Didn't really have a concept. I just had this like my mom's camera. I just like had a skateboard and me and my friend just rode around. And then I was like, okay, how do we make this into a story? Mousetrap came about not with like like an inspiration for the story or anything like that um it literally came about because my friend the main actor in the film parker um was just like I'm, i really want to shave my head and i was like how do i turn that like into something and so basically i was just like okay well we're just going to film that anyways and then i'm going to figure out a story and so we had this this was being made just for fun because we were like, whatever, like we know someone that makes furry, furry suits. And my friend was talking about critter stomping, which is this weird thing that um, people do where they watch like small animals get um, stepped on. I think Super 8 is such, it's like in terms of shooting on film, it's the easiest. Like it's so forgiving, it's so, beautiful looking like you can make mistakes and because of like the grain and the low image quality it'll still turn out good because it has it just has that like rough look to it to begin with um other than that like shooting on film sucks uh, and i hate it like on film it it just costs a lot so like it makes everything you do super deliberate it kind of everybody that's on set everyone that's working with the film it just sort of like it grabs your attention and it makes your hair stand up and you're like, okay, like we actually have to get this right now. Um, a lot of it was around Milwaukee. Um, there's a couple of big scenes near the end that we went to my parents' house to film. Um, they live on a farm in Southwest Wisconsin. So we traveled to Wisconsin Dells, shot at a couple motels around there. Um, just like some back roads that we shot at my parents' house for the ending. There's these two um, partners, sort of like a Bonnie and Clyde thing. Um, They travel the country, they do these shows with the, uh, the mouse stomping, the critter stomping, um, and then they rob like the creepy, like sleazy, perverted men. They just like rob them at gunpoint. Um, inevitably, karma catches up to them. We actually shot in Colorado for a little bit, just for like a couple shots honestly this is probably the most fun i've ever had making a movie it was like time and time again so many it's like making a film is this the weirdest job you can have it's like how else would i get into these situations like like we're like we went to this motel in wisconsin Dallas, and there's this like croatian family that owns the motel and they were just like so nice and like we called them up and they let us shoot there and like they're talking to us and they let us shoot in a room and like I think they thought we were shooting porn. There's this other time where, for reasons I can't get into, because uh, I don't want to spoil the story, I had to put raw ground beef uh, all over my friend's genitals. This was like the most impactful thing that's ever happened to me, for better or worse. We um, were shooting at a, like a really, really, rundown motel um in uh, fond du lac and 
It was just a simple scene, like this guy and the girl there, and this dude walks up to me and he has the biggest smile on his face and he's like, oh, like we're in Hollywood now, man, or something. I was like, I was like, yeah, dude, like we're filming a movie. We'd start talking to him and uh, he has this big pit bull and we're just like hanging out with him. And uh, he's like, my name's Ricky Bobby, nice to meet you. And uh, he turns around, he shows his tattoos and it's like, Ricky Bobby, so he's had like shake and bake and like NASCAR letters everywhere. He was just the nicest guy, like the goofiest dude. And uh, I was like, hey, like, you know, do you like want to be in it? Like, you just want to like stand over here? And like, he's like, yeah, can I like hold my dog in it? I find out like, like a month or two later that he actually passed away, like just like a week after somehow through connections for their work knew that I filmed and it was like some Crazy coincidence that I even found out. The premiere is February 11th. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be sending it out to festivals um, all around, like Milwaukee Film Festival, mm -hmm. for example. Um, and then February 11th at Promises on the South Side.